previously on Legacy. Her lawyer here yet? Yes, I've seen her, but I don't know how this trial's gonna play out. Well, I have leverage over that judge. What do you have on him? He flies Blythe Pacific. Don't try to bribe the judge, you know that's illegal. Who cares? That's what I'm paying you to do. And that is precisely what I will be doing, Mr. Blythe. You can see it's all right there, Judge. Thank you, Miss Coulter. I'm gonna call this court to a recess so I can watch this video. You may all have your weekend break. We will resume Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Which is just a saying. She does have a point. I mean, what if Mrs. Coulter is just like, you know, wanting to be the CEO? Exactly. She's never even at the office. What are they talking about? Rosemary is just a sugar baby. We need to go talk to the boss about getting her fired. Who cares what other people think? Well, I do, if it's your entire company talking crap about me behind my back. The entire company? I find that very hard to believe. Well, believe it, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of whoever started it. Carter and I are going on a weekend trip to Dubai, um, just to get away from all the court drama this weekend. Would you guys like to come? Oh, I'd love to. That sounds so fun. I'm so glad Carter will be so excited. <laughs> you started it. To be your secretary? A dream come true. We'll see. Why don't you start a 9 to 5? You'll be here in the office next week. I expect you to understand the rules and regulations before you start working here. Yes, yes, of course! Remember, this isn't forever. It's only because I need a secretary right now. You might be fired. Well, Lacey and I could stay together, and you and Carter could- <gasps> You know what this means?! Oh, Carter, no. Sleepover! 11.30. Have you ever heard of jet lag? Oh, trust me, I'm having some too, but uh, I'm tired and this is gonna be really awkward, so we might as well just get it over with. Yes, hello? Um, hello? Lee, what is it? Something happened. We have to get back to Vancouver ASAP. Carter, what's going on? It's Mrs. Blythe. She's... She's what? We have to go. What is this about? So, you showed up. Mr. and Mrs. Coulter, how wonderful to see you. What happened that we don't know about? My beloved wife has just died. We called you two here as witnesses. But, Your Honor, we were out of the country. Yes, I heard. To bury the body, I'm assuming. No, we went with Mr. Phelan and Miss Williams. Yeah, and they're not here, are they? Trust me, they will be coming. Well, you two and Mr. Phelan and Miss Williams are the only people that actually would want to kill Mrs. Blythe. You all have a reason. Yes, I understand the fact that you guys might think that we are witnesses just because of the court case, but leave Mr. Phelan and Miss Williams out of this. Unfortunately, we can't do that. I was going to until I found out that both of you went on vacation together. You could have easily had them kill her. But we didn't. Well, rest assured, we'll find out who did it. But for now, the case is closed. Blythe Pacific is ruined since you did this. We didn't do anything. We'll see. We have investigators investigating everywhere. So if you have done something, they will find it. Good luck. Not like we're gonna need it. Goodness, Lee. Well, I know you didn't do it. I was with you the entire time. <sighs> obviously, I didn't do it, and obviously you didn't do it. Do you think they're gonna find anything on us? Well, knowing Blythe, he'll probably set up a trap. Just don't do anything suspicious. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't understand. How could this happen? Natural causes? She was only like 50. There's no way that could have been natural. I don't know. Just keep your eyes peeled. I know Blythe is gonna try to set us up. Also, since we're suspects, it's mandatory that we go to her funeral. Even if we didn't do anything? Look, you and I know that we both didn't do anything, but no one else does. And I feel so bad. Carter and Lacey, where are they? It makes them look even more suspicious. I don't know, but I hope they know that if they run away, I mean, the police are going to follow them. We were with them the entire time. They didn't do it either. I know, but it looks suspicious since they're not here. They just left and they just disappeared. It looks suspicious. Well, to the naked eye, yeah, but not to us. I'm not saying they did anything. I'm just saying they might be in jail because of what people think they might have done. I don't know. Let me try to call Lacey. Oh, she's not picking up. Lacey? Hello? Pick up your phone. Well, she didn't answer. Try Carter. Um, it's ringing. He usually picks up by now. Carter! 
Ugh. Well, did we see them get on the plane? No, they still could be in Dubai. Where are they? They're not answering. I don't know. We have to go to the funeral soon. Come on, let's go get ready. Well, aren't you worried? A little, but why don't we worry about us right now, okay? We could be in deep trouble. Okay, let's go. Quinn, why don't you go get some food? I don't want food. I literally just got here, okay? I'm gonna, like, have a good time, try to enjoy myself. You know what? Just leave me alone. Quinn, I'm in charge of you. Get back here. Well, this is one heck of a party. Yes, I'll sure say. You know, it looked like Blythe didn't even invite any of his actual family or friends. Well, we better go talk to him. Yeah. Mr. Coulter, I'm glad you made it. Uh, yeah, I doubt that, but I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure you are. You're gonna go to jail someday, and it's gonna be soon. Okay, let's keep the threats out of your wife's funeral, and I will threaten you later. Whatever. Have a good time. Courtney? Oh my gosh, Rosemary, you're here! So. Pablo, Courtney, oh, I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't even know you knew Mr. Blythe. Oh, well, Pablo's mom and dad know him, so yeah, we're here. Yeah, I didn't know you knew Mr. Blythe. Um, we're literally in a lawsuit. Try to keep up, baby. Sorry, babe. Courtney, may I ask why you're wearing a pink ball gown to a funeral? Oh, it's the new style. Courtney, it's a funeral. You're supposed to wear something, like, dark and sad? Why? I didn't die. You know what? Forget it. Um, it's nice seeing you both. Yeah, nice seeing you too, Rosemary. Did Lee come? Where is he? Yes, he did. I'm not really sure where he is. I'm actually gonna go find him. I'll come with you. But babe, I thought we were- Shut up, baby. I'm going to find Lee, okay? Just sit here and look cute, okay? Just, yeah. Give us a second, babe. Oh, we'll be right back. For some odd reason, I don't think she really likes me. What? No, that's crazy. She loves me, I think. I know where Lee is, and I'm gonna go find him before you! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, fine! Oh, just get out of my life. Quinn? Oh, hey, Rosemary! Quinn, Chloe, what are you guys doing here? Well, we were invited, obviously. This party is literally just like a party full of, like, blue bloods, you know? Yeah, I think I realized that pretty quick, but why are you guys here? You guys don't even know the Blythes. Um, because it's a party and Quinn goes to all the parties. Where's your sister Willow? Oh, you know, she's like here and there. I don't know, she's supposed to come to Vancouver like next week. She was out on a date with her boyfriend. Oh, okay, um, yeah. What about Daniel? Where is he? Well, he's with his mother and father right now. We'll pick him up later to this afternoon and he'll come back home with us. Okay, well, you know what? I should come over and babysit. Yeah, um, no, Quinn. No, you're, you're fine. No, you don't, no. Do you not think I'm responsible enough? Um, I, mm, that's not it, Quinn. It's just the, yes, that's pretty much it, yes. Okay, I feel completely and totally insulted. You know what? I'm gonna leave this conversation. I'm sorry about her. No worries, Chloe. Well, it's great to see you again. I better go check up on Quinn, make sure she's not doing anything illegal. Good idea. Also, have you seen Lee? I've been looking for him. No, I haven't. I think he was talking to Mr. Blythe last time I saw him. Thank you. Of course. Lee. Oh, hey. Mr. Blythe, will you excuse me for a second? Yes, of course. What's up? Oh, nothing. I was just looking for you. Huh, Dad! Frida? Dad, I need to apologize. Frida! I haven't seen you in forever! I know. Look, I need to tell you something. Yes, of course, anything, honey. I'm so sorry, Dad. I didn't mean for this to happen, but I killed Mrs. Blythe. You what? It was supposed to be an accident. I read on the news that you married another woman, and I just, I feel like you're replacing mom, okay? And I'm sorry, but I, I didn't, I was just meaning to hurt her, not kill her. But then where's her body? It's, it's gone. I lost it in the ocean. <sighs> Frida. Dad, please, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it, okay? I promise, don't worry. But you must have loved her. She was your wife. Actually, she was my third wife, and I really don't care. She was kind of a business transaction. What? Have you told anyone else that you killed her? No, you were the first person that I wanted to tell. Good, keep it that way. Why? 
I'm trying to have the Coulters take the blame. Look, if they're convicted of your crime, then I'll never have business competition ever again. But Dad, that's not fair. They shouldn't have to take the blame for what I did. Just stop, okay? Look, I need you to do this for me, and if you're my daughter, and if you care about me, you will. Dad, of course I care about you, but this is wrong. Yeah, well, my entire life is screwed up now. Okay, so I'm just supposed to stay quiet about this? Yes, because if you don't, you're gonna regret it. So what do you think really happened? Do you want my honest opinion, or do you want my not-so-honest opinion? Lee, I always want your honest opinion, seriously. I think Alexander Blythe killed his own wife. I don't think so, though, but Lacey's known him forever, and he wasn't always this bad. Well, he's bad now, and I think he would do anything just to get back at me. I still doubt it, but you know him better than I do, so... What I'm worried for is Carter and Lacey. I mean, they're not even here, and they still have a case on Bella. Don't you think that's their fault? We don't know where they are, and they just disappeared. I don't know, I've been trying to call her all day, and I can't get a hold of her. Same with Carter. It makes me wonder what happened. Well, what about your mother and father? How's that case going? It should be fine as long as we can get her to openly confess. Yeah, I highly doubt your mother is going to be doing that. I, I hope she does. My father doesn't deserve her. Yeah, you're right, but what is your father going to do if they do decide to divorce? I'm not sure, but it'll be anything better than living with her. Auntie Rosie? Daniel? Is everything alright? I don't feel good. Oh, are you alright? What do you feel like? Not good. Daniel, you should be a little more specific. My stomach hurts. It's probably from all the ice cream you've been eating. If you want, we'll take you to the doctor. No! <laughs> then I bet you're fine. Okay. Night, night. Good night, Daniel. Carolina! Carolina! Yes, how can I help you? Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. I've been looking for Lacey everywhere. Have you seen her today at all? No, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Coulter. I have not seen Miss Williams today. As far as I know, she hasn't checked in. Do you know of anywhere where she could be? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Useless. Well, please tell me that you answered all the emails I told you to. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Coulter. I would have, but you didn't give me the password and no one else knew it, and I didn't get it done. You didn't... You didn't do it? No, I'm so sorry, but if you give me the password right now, I'll do it right now. Well, you're not going to need the password. You're fired. But I haven't done anything wrong. I just didn't have the password and I... Get out of my office. I've already had a terrible day. You're making it much worse. Get out. Uh, am I supposed to have, like, a, a two-week notice? Okay, here's your two-second notice. You're fired. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just go collect my things. Fired means fired. Get out of my office, Carolina. But my computer and... Forget it. <sighs> okay. Oh my goodness, I can't find helpful staff anywhere. <sighs> I need Lacey back. And I need these emails answered. I really have to find a good assistant. <sighs> you know what? Forget today. I'm going home. Alright, Daniel, are you ready to get in the pool? Yeah, yeah, can I have the, the pink floaty? Yeah, that's why I got it out. Get in and I'll put you in the pool. Okay. You ready, Daniel? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm in the pool now. Daniel, remember to be careful, okay? Okay, I won't get out of the pool floaty. Lee? Hey, what are you doing back from work so soon? Why are you letting Daniel in the pool? Because he wanted to go in the pool? It's not pool season. Well, it almost is, okay? Just, what are you doing? Well, I fired my third secretary in a month. A third secretary? You fired three people in one month. Seriously, can you not just be happy with anyone? No, after Colby, I don't know. 
Well, are you considering hiring Colby back? Heck no, that is not happening. I just need to find someone as good as her. Good luck, she's blood. I don't know, Lee. I'm just looking, okay? We're... Literally, there's such a long list of people who want to be a secretary, so it's fine. But anyways, um, are you watching Daniel? He's literally in the pool without pool floaties. Huh? <laughs> he has a pool inner tube. Ugh, oh my goodness, you have to watch him. What if he drowns? He's fine. He won't drown. Today has just been such a stressful day. You know what? Can you just like not make it even more stressful? Well, someone's in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just... I don't even know. Why don't you sit down and relax, and we can watch Daniel together. Yes, anything. You know, this is probably the best part of my day. I'm gonna go get a drink. Do you want anything? Auntie Rosie, my stomach hurts. Hold on, Daniel. Yeah, anything's fine, Lee. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Daniel. What did you- <gasps> Daniel! Lee! What? Daniel! Huh? Daniel! Call 911.